Um, anyways, the plan for today's stream is hopefully going to be going ahead and working on the event. Um, I don't have too much plans other than that. Um, so I think the first thing we'll go ahead and do is work on Ghost Hunter, or Egg Hunter Lily's quest. Um, and then once we get done with Egg Hunter Lily's quest, um, we'll go ahead and... And, um... Um, go ahead and, uh, work on grinding some invasion. Um, once we get to invasion grinding, I do plan on hopping over into a more empty, um, public server so that people can go ahead and join me. Um, and then, uh, go on from there. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and mainly focus on getting done with this quest for Lily. Um, and then we'll go ahead and work on invasions later. So, um, I think this quest is going to be pretty easy. I think people have said it takes around 20 to 30 minutes. It, so I don't expect it to take too long. Um, then we'll probably go do invasion grinding for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, we'll see. Um, I do know that events do sometimes get kind of boring just to go ahead and watch. Um, so uh, might not be as long as my general hard mode stream where I'm actually doing like other stuff. Um, it should at least be interesting. And for the first few, you know, minutes. Um, Hello! Rogue spawns be like. Um, but yeah. Oh, there it is. There's the chick ghost we need. Got back from the beach. Yeah, no, I just went live, like, I don't know, a minute ago, so welcome to the stream. But I hope you enjoyed your time at the beach. I know, um, vacations are fun. Actually, right now where, where I'm at, it started raining, so it's been warm for, like, the last week or so. Um, but just recently it started raining, so it's kind of unfortunate-ish. I mean, fortunately, the only reason I ever really need to go outside is to walk the dog, so, eh. Probably should be using nah. I was about to say we probably should be using like loot gum for this quest, but um I realized like we are getting enough items that we don't really need it. Um it'd lower it from like ten ghosts to like two ghosts, so not a huge deal. Um One of the things I actually haven't tried do using during this event, um, is generally during invasions I or in, even like towers or whatever when you have ghost spawns during the event. Um, is to go ahead and use, like, loot gum to get more of the egg drops. Um, but, like, this event is so chaotic, I don't think that many people are actually able to go ahead and do that. Um, I think you t can in theory, but, um, it it's probably, probably just a lot easier just to go ahead and use vacuum gum, um, in most cases. Oh, we're completely grabbing the wrong ghost. Yeah, that's a that's a great start of the stream when I'm already like five minutes into the start of the stream and I'm already grabbing going to the wrong area to grab ghosts. It's not not a great not a great sign for the coherence of the stream in general. One of the things I really wish I'd er, that would have been nice to have done before the start of this um, event would be to go ahead and get Finsley. Um, actually, I might go ahead and do that um, later this stream, I guess? Yeah, actually, that might be if I get super bored of grinding invasions or it gets annoying to do with on, without the additional two streams, I might go ahead and do Finsley this, um, on this account. Um, just get the two additional streams from that, and then, um, be able to actually grind more effectively. Mm 
Yeah, the, the funny thing is that the, um, how full is the server right now? Probably completely full. Um, I plan on doing, uh, swapping over to a more empty private ser or public server, um, when I actually start doing invasion grinding. Um, but we'll, we'll see about that when we get there. They look exactly the same. Yeah, the thing is the spring event actually came before, um, the Fey Ghost did, so, um, is it really the Fey, these ghosts copying the, um, e the backdoor ghosts, or is it, um, the backdoor ghosts copying these ghosts? But yeah, models do get reused a bit. Um, one of the funny things is looking at how many bird pets there are. Or no, not bird pets. Um, bird ghosts there are. There's like pe penguins, parrots, pigeons. Um, I think there's like one more that I'm, I always forget. Um, I, I know there's probably one in backdoor or remnant zone that I'm forgetting. But yeah, the quest is going to be pretty easy. Um, generally, part one is uh, slightly easier than part two. Um, part two, more difficult quests are generally added. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see if... Ho hopefully they do add a little bit more difficulty. I know part one so far has probably been... Actually, no, it's by far the easiest event we've ever had in Ghost Simulator. Um, I did my calculations wrong on the keys per hour or whatever. No, I, I didn't actually do any calculations for anyone wondering. I eyeballed it and uh, it turned out um, to be much easier um, for reference it gives the same base keys as a, um, a hollow or Halloween tower no it gives slightly less than that um, gives more than the Christmas tower um, anyways um, it, it gives nine keys versus the 11 from the a Halloween tower um, and a Halloween tower took around 10 to 12 minutes um, to complete, whereas this one takes five minutes to complete. Um, r round up to six minutes for on average or whatever. Um, it's like almost two times more, um, keys per hour than the easiest event, like, in Ghost Sim history. Um, yeah, I, I generally do my calculations without using any boss gum. Boss gum just tweaks numbers way too much. Um, and generally isn't efficient in, uh, time-wise, but, um, people will still use it. Um... Abilities. Uh, there are some abilities. Generally, you get them from quests. Um, for instance, uh, heavy armor you get from Leo in uh, Ghost World, which will go ahead and stop you from getting knocked down. Um, you'll need to go ahead and progress through the game. I mean, there's like 30 antenna levels now, and most of the um, good perks are around antenna 10, uh, whereas some are even locked behind like antenna level 29. Um, Yeah, I, I don't I don't worry too much about money and uh, YouTube stuff. Um, honestly, if I was honestly, YouTube literally makes like zero dollars for me. Um, it, it does make a little bit of money, but it's like so it's pretty much negligible. So it's more of stuff than I just do my pastime. So I don't actually care too much. Um, talking about that, I should probably make that. There you go. Um. What was I need to do? Oh, unbox five pet crates. One, two, three, <laughs> someone's someone's gonna be unhappy with that one. Um I know I know every event there. Deadbolt, do, do you think that thing broke again? I haven't checked to make sure it's working in a while, so, um... 
Yeah, I, I think that thing broke. Um, interesting. How does the difficulty matter for the amount of drops? Um, actually, both difficulties will have the same amount of... Um, Spring Fairy. Okay. Um, same amount of drops from waves and um, the end of the round. So they both have one key that you get out, out, of, route, uh, out of end of wave two. Or, and then two keys that you get at the finishing of it. Um, the thing is, though, with the um, hard mode, you actually have an additional drop from Fluffy. Um, so for hard mode, you get... Four keys base without any multipliers, um, whereas with easy you get three keys. Um, the thing is, once you start adding in like factors like double boss drops, um, you'll get an additional two keys from um, Fluffy, and then once you factor in um, the 100% drops uh, game pass, uh, you'll go ahead and get a little bit more. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know why my text to speech alerts uh, messed up. Um, Actually, maybe if I... Maybe because it, got, it hasn't been used in so long, it just kind of broke. Um... All right, guys. I'm 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 looking into it. Uh, I, I I know this is actually not what I was planning on doing for this stream, but um, thank you for not having any autoplay. Will I fix the overlap bug with the waiting for the event timer? Um... Oh yeah, what? Overlap bug? Oh, you're talking about the uh, vote selection for uh, game mode, correct? Yeah, um, I don't know. Thing is, uh, the way it's set up right now, um, okay, I, I wouldn't say it'll take a lot of work to go ahead and fix, um, but it would take probably around an hour or so for me to go ahead and fix that, uh, correctly, um, and, uh, I mean, generally I just don't want to do it, to be honest, um, <laughs> I want to be lazy with it. Um, maybe, um, I don't think it's the biggest bug in the world, though, so it's probably going to end up getting ignored. Um, I, I, I feel like the fact that it works in general is going to be fine. Um, if enough people complain, yes, I, I will fix it. Um, but right now, from what I've seen, no one really complains too much about it. Um, uh, it's just kind of something that people see and they're like, okay, that's mildly weird. Then they move on. Um... I have way too much ping to do this event solo. Yeah, I... I is there more ping, ping issues? I thought I... Okay. Um, th when this event first dropped, there was some ping issues with the uh, collision for the um, thing. I had to actually change how the UI works slightly for that. Um, I thought I fixed all of it, but events, I think, have generally been really lagging go sim, and there's probably some code I need to go fix somewhere. Um, but, yeah. Might, might also be sub... Oh! No, that wouldn't be... That might do it. 
Actually, no, I, that that's fixes pat current patch. Um, already. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't know. Oh, okay. Everything is having loading issues. Yeah, but it's not out of the picture. Um, right when the event dropped, there was I. There was some mistakes in the code that was making ping issues. Um, if, if it is just ghost similar lagging, there it is potential that um, there are errors. Um, on Xbox, it's laggy. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know. Like, Xbox... All I play on is my PC and my phone. And generally speaking, like... Okay, you guys can probably see my computer's laggy, but that's just because it's a low-end PC. Um, but yeah, Ghost Simulator General is not super optimized. Um, there are things I could do to fix it, but I don't know what exactly would be the uh, best ways to go ahead and fix it. Um, but yeah. It's just the camera? Okay. Camera. Oh wait, not this letter. This letter. It's just the camera when you turn. Oh, like, is it laggy when you turn, or is it, like, just slow? Yes, it's laggy? Okay. Um. Laggy when turn. And that's every time you turn your camera, correct? That's actually interesting. Is it doing a tween? Is it doing a double tween? Huh. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it might be, might be some old old Xbox, um, but if it doesn't happen on o other Roblox games, then it's definitely a bug for Ghost Simulator, um, specific specifically. Um, I know, actually, yesterday, I someone was going ahead and playing the game on PlayStation, um, like, as a new player playing the game, um, and it was interesting to see, like, all the comments. Like, for instance, um, when you're in a UI, if you press, press a, like, I D-pad, I think they were saying, was, like, mapped to, um, some stuff, like, uh, opening menus. But, like, if you press, like, stuff on the D-pad, it would, even if you're in, like, a menu or something, it would go ahead and open another UI or teleport them back to spawn or whatever, um, which was kind of just weird, um, uh, not really intended behavior. Um, so at some point, um, at some point, actually, probably next update, I do, even though it is Easter, I, I think... I think I'll have enough time, even with it being Easter, uh, to go ahead and look into actually fixing um, some of the controller issues. Um, and I'll, I'll, I probably won't have time to actually look into um, that specific lag, like lag when you're turning issue. Um, but I'll go ahead and at least make a note of that because um, all these bugs with like console, um, mobile, uh, pretty much anything other than PC, um, as developers, it's kind of hard because we, I pretty much, I play only on, uh, PC. I, it's really hard for me to know what, uh, issues are having with, um, like, console or other things like input devices. Um, so it's kind of, it's good to go ahead and report these things that you find that even if you, you think it might just be your device or whatever, uh, let, let me know. Um, I know, but, Bo Bowen, um... We haven't had Bo for a while. Yeah, I... F okay. I I shouldn't say too much about that other than to say... um Yeah, okay, we're, we're crashing right now. Um, hopefully it's not my entire Wi-Fi. Hopefully it's just Roblox. Um, yeah, mobile works fine. Okay. Yeah, mobile, mobile gets a little bit more attention. I do have a phone that I can open up Ghost Simulator to test some stuff. Um, but, like, controller and console specifically are going to have loads of issues that aren't ever going to get addressed just because I never, uh, I'm not able to easily test them. And, um, I don't know. 
it doesn't feel like people report like appropriate issues. Like the fact that you can teleport while using the D-pad is probably a bug and I haven't seen anything about it until now. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was Roblox and not my entire internet. Um, yeah, okay, my internet looks like it's fine. It just looks like Roblox is being weird. PlayStation is good. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'd need one to actually test to make sure stuff is working appropriately. Obviously, there's going to be different device issues. Like, if you are playing on a low-end phone, there's going to be more lag, but whatever. Um, PlayStation's good in Ghost Simulator? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I get conflicting answers on that. Um, I, 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 it might just be control seem, schemes that are weird on it and people just aren't used to it as, or it's the person who just wasn't used to it as a new player. Um, but it's also probably just like, it's not intuitive. Um, Yeah, that, that's... These are... I, I gotta grab all the rare ghosts. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's an active, uh... Oh, that's layered clothing, isn't that? Actually, final boss is pretty easy to go ahead and solo. Um, actually, pretty, mu pretty much everything in Ghost Simulator is um, e or just as easy to solo as it is to do with multiple people, with the only exception being the invasion events. Um, those will be slightly, or those will be a lot easier with multiple people, um, up to like three, at which point it becomes the same, um, no matter how many more you get. Um, but yeah. It's all the bosses have less have health scaling with the amount of players. Um, the only real difference is if you're dying to corruption, um, which most people won't unless you're laggy, at which point, yeah, it does become easier to solo. Um, but that's more of just because it's laggy and it's buggy um, more than anything else. Um, n not much to actually do with the. Um, difficulty per se yeah big 10 4 is an active or is a yeah an active ghost and player that uh plays quite a bit and also is a tester um they're they're pretty well known in the community um i have no idea what's going on with that avatar i'm assuming it's layered clothing just being buggy and ghost similar but yeah yeah yeah, a lot of a lot of the attacks in Ghost Simulator, it's kind of hard to actually figure out how to avoid. Uh, the laser one and then the tractor beam one are like the most annoying um, bugs for um, new or most annoying attacks for new players to figure out, um, and it feels just kind of a pain um, because it's not intuitive at all on how to dodge them. Um, for instance, for the tractor beam one, you actually have to get off your hoverboard, uh, which literally even when the attacks were like first introduced. Um, people were like, hey, this attack is undodgeable. And developers were like, hey, specific, like, literally had to tell testers, they wanted to, hey, um, unequip your hoverboard and you should be able to dodge it. And it was just kind of one of those things where I was like, what in the world? Why is, wh why is this attack so incredibly opaque on how to dodge? Um, I don't, I like the idea of the attack. I just, I hope, I wish there was a way to, um, and make it easier to understand why you have to dodge it how you dodge it um on some games mainly big games like ghost simulator when i join on my phone it it kicks me out but it's annoying oh 
Okay, like it crashes or sw something else. Um, what do you mean by kicks you out? Um, like, is there a kick message or does it like just everything just randomly closes? Um, but yeah, there there is a chance that Ghost Simulator has um, optimization issues that cause uh, devices to crash. That is a legitimate issue um, with the game. Um, I wish I could say I will make it better, um, but, um, it isn't likely. Like, especially with, like, this event, like, right when the event started, I had an even, uh, worse, um, like, the worst bug I've seen in Ghost Simulator, where, like, just, like, infinite ping generator. Will there be a summer update? Um, there won't be a summer event, but there is an update in Ghost Simulator every other week. Um, maybe sometimes with a d week delay to go ahead and set up for other stuff. Um, but yeah, th there will be an update during summer, but it's unlikely for there be to, be to be an event. Um, after this event, um, I've realized that it is quite a bit of work to go ahead and add events. Um, so I'm not, I'm not keen to go ahead and start more. Um... Who runs Ghost Simulator? Uh, it, it's owned by Bloxbyte, which is currently owned by um, Adam, Goro7, um, same person, uh, and Maki. Um, So those are two of the main develop or two of the original developers for Ghost Simulator. Um, the, the five original developers, which all Technic uh, probably own stake in Bloxbyte, but I don't think I think they either sold it off or gave it back to um, uh, Adam and Mackie in general. Um, Um, but they were, uh, Joven, which is Diddy, no, Joven, which is DXZ, um, the blue dude in the final boss fight, um, part of JD, that YouTube group, um, then there is, uh, um, Diddy or Dylan, um, Diddy one one four seven, I believe. Uh, what, what the yellow dude in the void? Um, <laughs> then, um, then there's uh, Coven K, which uh, I think most people know. Uh, more of a recent developer. She left a little bit later. Um, but yeah, th those five were the original developers. Yeah, then Mackie and then uh, Goro Seven slash Adam. Um, those were the original developers. Um, out of those, uh, only. Maki and Goro still are in Bloxbyte. Um, and then for um, the game, they go ahead and uh, hire contract developers. So basically, people who go ahead and develop um, the game um, who technically don't own stake in uh, Bloxbyte and don't own the game, uh, but are the main people working on the game. Um, that would be me, Dark Thunder, and technically Jonas as a management role um, at the moment. All right, we'll go ahead and buy spring cleaning and then pastelium just because these are the cheapest. Um, and that should be pretty much it for um, this quest. Um, but yeah. And then there is at one point... Um, oh, we just got here a little bit too late. All right, we'll go ahead and hop over into a, um, new server. I, I want to go join into a smaller server to go ahead and get 
um, some empty slots for you guys. Um, no, I don't mind at all. If you, you guys can go ahead and join me for my Roblox profile. Um, actually, let me go make sure my screen isn't being shared. Yeah, my screen is not being shared. Cool. Um, This might this might crash something. I, I realize that uh, opening this or uh, opening opening stuff is probably not the best idea at the moment with streaming and everything. Um, so hopefully it doesn't crash anything. But yeah, once I go ahead and get into the server, we're going to be going ahead and doing probably a lot of invasions back to back. Um, so if you guys want to go join, you can go ahead and do that from my Roblox profile. Um, there might be a few bugs. Uh, I think you have to click high quality if you go ahead and join Easter World. Um, this will be probably fixed in version 1. 1.154.2, um, which should hopefully be a patch coming within like the next uh, next few days, let's say, um, before the weekends or whatever. Um, but yeah. Um, let me go this Yeah, actually there aren't any small, um, yeah, there's literally no small uh, event servers at the moment, so, um, uh, my name is the same as, um, So we're going to probably going to go and just get st go state in this server. Um, but yeah, my username is the same as um, exactly what you'd expect from it. Uh, highest just uh, without the gaming part. Um, yeah, it should be pretty easy to find. Just go ahead and search it. Um, first should be first result. Is that yeah? That should be layered. Is that layered clothing or just a really weird avatar? Honestly, I don't even know what Roblox avatars are anymore. <laughs> like, okay. Um, I guess we're going to just go ahead and wait in here until the fight uh, comes. Um, but yeah, there was no small server to go ahead and join for this, um, unfortunately. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and chill. Um, while we wait. Um, I want to take a quick check. So yeah, we have 156 Easter keys. Um, how long will it take for us to get the mythical pet? Oh, how bad is this scaling? That's not that bad. Yeah, okay. All those are still readable. I was just realizing I didn't actually adjust the scale of like anything on here. I just kind of pasted decals on uh, without actually making sure that they are the right um, dimensions and stuff. Um, so over here, uh, actually, yeah, it's not even really even noticeable. Um, 
But yeah, there, there's probably some slight scale issue where it's slightly bigger or smaller or whatever in some things. Um, I don't want to spend any keys yet. But yeah. Um, for these fights, we aren't going to be going ahead and using any um, boss gum. I don't think it's worth it to go ahead and use boss gum um, on these fights. Uh, I just think it's going to be better to go ahead and um, let the event pass and double boss drops uh, carry on that stuff. Um, I don't know. It, it always feels like a waste to me when I'm using uh, boss gum on fights that take like less than like seven minutes um, because it's literally taking more time to go ahead and grind for that boss gum than it is uh, to um, go ahead and... Uh, Oh my goodness, nine players. Um, anyways, it's taking longer to go ahead and grind for that boss gum than it would be to just grind that uh, boss like four times. Um, it's not exactly true. Like you are technically getting more stuff from boss or from gum grinding than you are from the um, boss or whatever. So it is technically probably still worth it down to like four minutes per, which is ridiculous. But um, yeah, <laughs> 10 people. Um, the funny, the funny thing about uh, hard difficulty with this many players is that the amount of ghost spawn is actually ridiculous. Like near the, I think during the last wave it gets up to like a hundred plus ghosts, um, and it just becomes a crazy, cr crazy, crazy mess. Um, which is, I like it. I think it, the chaos it brings is kind of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys aren't prepared for hard with this many people. Um, Yeah, I saw that you were doing some grinding yesterday, Deadball. I know, noticed you posting that. Um, 25 trillion gems. Gems? Trillion gems? Or is that billion gems? I hope that is billion gems. Uh, because if you're getting 25 trillion gems in a day, um, then I do need to do some patchwork on, um, I, like, major patchwork. And it probably needs to be another, like, a thousand times nerf or whatever um, that people are not going to like. Um... When Rob stream, uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely, um, I definitely care and am remembering about that realm. Okay, we need to get over to the circle because, uh, that's about to die. Um, also, right now, lag central. Um, oh, no, people get dealt with it. I kind of died and lost all my items. Hey, same! <laughs> uh, nah. Yeah, we are slightly laggy. Um, I don't know. This is probably just because we're also I'm also streaming. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely some invasion um, fight nonsense going on. Um, actually, one of the things that I have noticed. Um, I I believe this is an available tool for everyone, so I sh I'm fine opening it up. Um, buffer's full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can open it up this much. Um, but yeah, this just shows my um, FPS um, as a counter up on the top. We'll probably turn it off. It's not that interesting. Um, but yeah, that, that, that can be something I can go ahead and use to troubleshoot. Um, I don't know exactly how to use it, but I'm sure it, you can use it, or I've been told that you can use it to go ahead and figure out why I'm slagging so much. Um, yeah, yeah, D Deadbull, Deadbull went on the grind after I turned off the uh, chunk walk aspect, and now um, now he's maxed out. Um, but yeah. Yeah, there, there's an FPS counter. Yes, I know there's an FPS counter, but um, that that uh, tool does allow you to see a little bit more than... Um... Whoa, why are we being dealt so much damage? Oh, just because there are like 20,000 ghosts that are on us. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a little bit of, um, there, there's RNG elements to, like, the spawning of ghosts and stuff, um, but because of, um, like, because of how fast they spawn, some of the RNG doesn't actually, like, 
get generated correctly. Like, it'll use the same frame or whatever as a reference for, like, the, um, ID or whatever. Um, so it ends up generating, like, all the ghosts in a row as, like, aggressive ghosts or, um, all the ghosts in a row as, um, sort of the same model. Um, so th that will happen frequently. Ow, that hurt. That hurt. Times two. So yeah, a lot of the times you will see just giant clumps of the same ghost. Um, it's not as bad as uh, during like um, towers sometimes where it spawn the exact same ghost in the exact same spot. Um, there's a little bit more of a delay for spawning to help prevent that. But um, yeah, there there is uh, definitely some issues with the um, spawning algorithm that makes uh, repeats a lot more likely. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, this was this will be going ahead and completing that quest, and then we'll be going ahead and just doing some more power grinding on its own um, to go ahead and get the um, just more keys. All right, we should probably uh, try to actually dodge some attacks. But yeah, I expect a few client errors if I go ahead and open my F9 screen right now. Um, yeah, run service stuff, unbinds. Um, ooh, this one's new. I've never seen that error before. I don't know where that comes from. Um, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, okay. We completed the quest. We're just going to go do more invasions. We're, we'll turn in that quest later. Um, bye. Uh, Roblox chat or stream chat? Uh, only stream chat. Um... I leave Roblox chat closed for the most part. I don't really ever know what's going on in there. Um, and so I prefer to go ahead and uh, leave it leave it closed uh, just in case uh, people are being a little weird in there. Um, But yeah, my guess is that this, this many ghosts spawning at a time does cause a few lag issues on both, like, the client and the server. Um, I, I don't know if that's... I, I would guess that that probably shouldn't be the case, but um, I think it might be the case. Um, one day you'll buy better internet. Yeah, and one day I'll buy a better PC, you know, eventually. You should really adjust how many keys you get from bigger waves or how or hard mode because like 440 keys from vacuuming battery plus goes um i mean okay honestly the amount of keys you already get is ridiculous like i've been doing the math um base wise it's the same drops as like you get four um keys 
from four or like it's the same drops as the last Halloween event. Um, minus some boss drop shenanigans. Um, but like based without any game pass, it's four keys for both those. Um, this event takes around five minutes with a full server. Um, whereas with, uh, the, the, um, Halloween tower, it took around 12 minutes, um, solo or with a full server. It didn't really matter uh, for that uh, too much. I think it was a little bit faster with multiple people just for the, um, dungeon aspect. Um, oh, that's a lot of ghosts. I should probably go do something about that. Um, actually, no, there looks like a lot of them are dying. Um, but yeah, because of, because of that, it's about, it's like a, I think it's about two times easier, um, of an event than like any other event we've ever had in Ghost Simulator. Like it is ridiculously already how uh, much keys you're getting. Um, so it's not really something I need to increase more keys. Um, The thing about hard mode is that um, you do get an additional drop from Fluffy um, that does stack with boss drops. Um, so for like actual people grinding, it's uh, pretty. Um, I think people. I think it's about up to 17 keys you can get per fight, um, which is a lot. Um, and then it's also um, it's actually slightly faster on the ghost spawn, so you're able to defeat it slightly quicker. Um, although you are needing to vacuum uh, a lot more ghosts. Um, which, yeah, is, is something different, but, um, I don't know. I, I, I like to look at it more about, like, how many keys per minute rather than, uh, keys per ghost vacuum. I think definitely solo this event is going to be a lot different than if you're playing it with a large mass of people like we are right now. Um, with a lot of people it ends up being quite a bit easier than solo, but yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's not something... I, I'm not increasing key drops ever. Uh, this event's already way too easy. Um, I, I, I was intending it to be ra around the same difficulty as previous events, but um, it's uh, a bit a bit easier than that. Um, hello! But yeah, another benefit from hard mode is like more ghosts does mean you get more eggs. But yeah. Yeah, that's not how not how this works. No no favoritism. Um Which is probably a bit hard. Um Yeah. Vent pass is kind of um Event pass though during this event is actually really good. Um, it's this is probably the best event pass I think value wise we've had in Ghost Simulator. Um, it has the most uh, drops from uh, like wave rewards that only stack with the event pass, um, which does make it quite a bit better. Um, but it also comes with like plus thirty keys, uh, the best stat pet from uh, Robux that we've had. So it's. Uh, it's a decent one, but yeah. Boo. Yeah. Um, okay, who, who missed a ghost? But um, but yeah, even, even base-wise, though, it is, like, the best keys drops that I think. Yeah, it is the best key drops in any event. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be a grind if you want to get items in it. It's not, not going to be, like, super easy to get a mythical, um, but it will be easier than um, most other events. Uh, it's like two and a half hours to five hours to go ahead and get a mythical, um, which, you know, is, is still some grinding. Um, if you have boss gum, I think it can be as low as an hour. Um, no, no way it's as low as an hour with boss gum. 17 divided by 250, um, 10, 20, 15? So that's about 15... Yeah, okay, it'll just take slightly over an hour if you're doing, uh, with boss gum. Wait, 
Wait, where's Fluffy? Oh, there it is. How did he get up there? <laughs> oh, wait, he's coming at me. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, wait, he's not coming at me. Yeah, this that's one of the reports I have seen that I, I think is legitimate, um, is that it doesn't actually um, stay in the arena. I know I know during testing, uh, a lot of people were confused when he came out. Um, I, I think it adds a little bit more enjoyment, and uh, I think people get used to it after some time. Um, but yeah, I definitely understand how it could be annoying. Um, I don't I don't think I'm. It's a lot. I think it'd be quite a bit of work to actually reduce restrict him to staying in that area um it's not as easy um to uh just quick fix that um as i would like to think um but um yeah it is it is definitely one of the things that is on my radar that people didn't like during testing um it, it used to be a much worse when there was a lot more walls and stuff where you couldn't actually see where he was and stuff like that but um even now i do see it is quite a bit quite annoying um fortunately fortunately i th think it isn't too bad like even damage wise if he does hit you it's more of like he knocks you down than um anything else which you know can be annoying or is is annoying but um isn't like it's going to kill you anything but yeah gets in the dumbest places yes uh, yeah that that i know too um it is definitely one of those things that um It's a, uh... It is, it is a bit scuffed. It, it's a lot less scuffed than the initial testing. I can say that much for sure. Um... Oh, it was actually good to see that this remnant um, board model got fixed. I know, I know for the longest time, um, it had a like weird uh, pink thing because I messed up like accidentally moving it. Uh, but now it looks like it is fixed, so that you can actually like, you know, look at it correctly. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Of, okay, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in the event that I can't really change now that it's live, like the uh, reward distribution, how difficult it is. Um, I'm. I don't think I will be going ahead and fixing uh, Fluffy, f or making Fluffy not be able to get out of the arena. I think having it chase the player around um, makes it more interesting than it adds confusion. Um, I think there is, actually, if you go ahead and vote after you te get teleported, it doesn't actually count your vote for the record. Um, just, uh, <laughs> just, just so you guys know. Um, <laughs> but... What was I saying? Oh yeah, but back to the top of the hand. Um, I think I think with Fluffy, like one of the things about it is like, if you are wanting to play um, like alone or whatever, or uh, and you don't like how Fluffy attacks, um, the rewards for easy are pretty close to the same as the rewards for hard. Um, you so you can instead of like doing hard mode, just do easy mode and still have a pretty pretty similar experience. Um, reward wise and you don't need to worry too much about the annoying stuff from hard mode like the amount of ghost spawns or um fluffy uh getting annoying during the um waves um 
you, you will get a little less keys, but it also, also is like, I don't know, it's, it's something that people can go ahead and choose, so, um, when people do specifically complain about hard being annoying, um, there, there's part of me that's like, okay, just do easy. I understand, like, easy might be a little bit boring, uh, whereas, and so you now have to choose between annoying, um, and boring, um, which, uh, ow. Generally, generally speaking, isn't probably the best. It's probably best to have both of them actually kind of fun, um, but, yeah. Also, it isn't like it is 500 ghosts um, for solo. It's like, I think solo adds up to um, around 200 ghosts. And then it's plus uh, like 25% or so um, for each additional player. Um, <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to claim the quest this time. Yeah, I don't actually need to claim the quest, really. I mean... You know, who, who actually needs to claim a quest? Um, yes, that's being dealt with. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. The thing about, uh, the mega boss attacks is, like, it will take, it would take, um, I was planning on rest or doing some stuff to, like, the boss attacks so that, like, for instance, um, some of the attacks were more targeted, um, like, instead of just, like, uh, during the, um, hover attack where it just kind of randomly goes around the arena, which is, like, misses the player, like, 99% of the time. Um, I don't think I've ever got hit by that attack. Um was like focusing on players with some of those attacks um it ended up i didn't have time for that so that's that's why that didn't get done um but yeah there, there's a lot of stuff i would have liked to have done with this event if i had more time um i think changing some of the attacks would have been cool um okay that's a lot of ghosts i need to go help with that um but yeah i just didn't really have time for that and now that it's live i mean it's really hard to warrant uh, actual any changes just because like it's already live people are playing it people um, I'm not seeing too much negative feedback about it. I, I think yeah getting out of the arena is kind of confusing um, like it, it's not s Bad in a sense It's just Annoying I don't know Th that's my thoughts Anyways, there we go. Fluffy's down. Um. Alright, we're at 192 keys. 10 seconds left. We do not have enough time to go grab Lily's quest. Uh, we'll do that next time. Probably. Probably not. Um, knowing me, I'll probably forget again, but, yeah. There are some things I am glad I did not do in this event. Um, like, originally I was thinking, huh, what if, okay... You guys probably actually no, I haven't explained this yet, uh, but generally overcharge will either instant kill ghosts or bring them down to one health um, In this event it actually will only deal half health damage to ghosts um, 
Also, this this weird effect is kind of like like it's just a leftover effect from Puppy's Stack. Um, but I, I was planning on doing some also changes to like vacuum gum to make vacuum gum a little little less overpowered in the event. Um, make it do like I don't know half effect or whatever. Um, rather than like making it instant vacuum ghosts. Um, but I just I, okay. I ran out of time for that. Didn't really have time for that. And looking back, I'm like that would have been way too annoying uh, if. Vacuum gum didn't work on this event. Uh, people would be so stuck on like hard mode. It would be so much harder than it was um, um, I don't think you can completely remove server limits um, and honestly I, I Don't think that's a I don't think that's a good April Fool's idea. Um, I, I have a feeling that would cause uh, more lag um Actually, I don't know if it would. I'm, I'm trying to think about what would actually lag with Ghost Simulator with more players. Uh, server would be la more lag. Uh, that's it, though. The client shouldn't actually experience any issues unless you have, like, pets shown. Um, wait, am I actually hitting the boss from there? there? There's no way. I think people would be annoyed. Yeah, I, 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 do, I don't... Okay, someone got vacuuming the ghost. Whoever this dude is, um, is saving us hardcore right now. Um, okay, now everyone else is vacuuming. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it does get glitched into... Th that's like one of the big reasons I would have made uh, restrictions to this center area is because of that bug. Uh, fortunately, most people have said that it isn't actually as big of a deal as I was thinking it was going to be. Or it was originally, but yeah. Um, I'm not a moderator, so I don't do unbanned stuff. Um, and I definitely do not have control to make people developers. Um, but yeah, April, April Fool's is one of those things that, uh, I, I probably, I probably need to come up with a better idea for. Um, like, like there's, there's a plan I have for it, um, but it's kind of small and, uh, I don't know how many people like it. Fake Easter event for April Fools. Um, okay, they get out with the ghosts. But yeah. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I don't know what you're saying thank you for, but yeah. Alright, let's uh, keep this ghost a little bit away from <laughs> walls this time. There you go. Oh, you saving? Okay. That, that, that was you said save? Yeah, um, it does actually have a... The, the thing about this boss is I made sure it actually had a, like, I doubled this time it stays down from the shield from, um, the last, uh, Gen generally bosses stay down for a set amount of time then they came back up or if they like switch um phases if they go down from like 66 percent 33 percent um all those health points um they'll go ahead and switch uh get back up um this time i doubled the amount of time they'll go ahead and stay down um so that it shouldn't be as no annoying if it like the boss gets stuck in one place uh since you'll have plenty of time to go ahead and make sure that it um actually actually dies uh, which I think is, I think most people are liking that because um, it makes it a lot less likely for you to have to do an additional phase of the boss, um, which can get super annoying. Um, but yeah. <laughs> April Fool's Plus Easter Part 2. Yeah, um. Yeah. I, I, we aren't having bow, I don't think. Yay, no bow. <laughs> I, 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 I expect that to either be sarcasm. Um, I feel like a lot of people like bow. Um,
Yeah, that's probably more leaks than I- Okay, let's go do Lily's quest. Let's go turn in Lily's. We have, uh, 10 seconds to go ahead and do this. Um... I don't know how long this dialogue is. It's too long. We aren't making it, are we? Yeah, we are five seconds too late. Um, whatever. Um... <laughs> anyways. Um, 207 keys, um, I think we need 999, uh, 45, so five more things before we can afford a mythical, um, but yeah. Bo is good, yeah, Bo is cool to come back in every event, um, he probably, sh I think timing wise would have been nice if he came back this event, um, but one of the, one of the things about Bo right now, um, he is kind of an old developer thing. I don't, I don't know exactly, like, all, like, the lore or plans or, um, backstory of Bo for, like, development stuff. I don't know if they're, I think only, like, I think they have the same person try to do it every time, and I don't know if that's, um, the person they have for dialogue is, uh, someone, um, I, I can't remember. I, I believe it's Wega Arc? If I remember correctly, um, and it's just one of those things I don't know. I, I don't I don't think I'm the correct I'm the correct person or the new developers um, are the correct people to be going ahead and initiating a bow uh, quest line. Um, but yeah. Mackie, Wega, and no, Apollo. Okay. Okay, Apollo, I, I think Apollo we'd be fine working with. Um, I just, I don't, I don't know, um, I know Wega is Mackie's sister, I believe, or closely connected to Mackie in some way. Um, so I don't know the exact, um, whether or not, uh, using, uh, Bo as, uh, since that was, I think, originally, uh, her quest line, um, is something that, um, would be okay. But yeah, I, I think Apollo is one of the quests, is, is someone that would be fine. Um, because, like, a lot of that's just, like, personal stuff more than anything else. Um, get Mackie to have a vote next update. Yeah, no, Ma Mackie has other stuff going on at the moment. Um, we're not worrying too much about that. Um, okay, the funny... Uh, I don't think that's, um, main hub is normal, yes, main hub is normal, Ghost World is, uh, world with a bunch of islands, yeah, uh, backdoor is just controlled by developers, uh, no, I think that's where the lore breaks down, um, and devs aren't controlled by the boss bow, um, I think the exact, I'm fairly sure the lore is backdoor is, a uh, unfinished version of main hub, um, or, like, the testing version of main hub, where they kind of just, originally dumped a lot of stuff um then yeah and then the developers versus Bo I, I that that's just not how that works uh, I don't know the exact lore on that but it's definitely not um anyways um I believe I believe uh, devs were just scared of Bo because Bo is sentient um high power thing um right about lore for once yeah don't worry there was um, for, for an entire year, I was over here being like, hey, uh, wasn't Void the, um, original Ghost World? And I'm fairly sure there's still a dialogue about that somewhere, uh, but I can't find it, so I gave up on it. Um, but yeah, lore is, lore is one of those things I don't follow, um, at all. Um, really, but yeah. Um, yeah, and... Backdoor, is con Backdoor isn't really controlled by devs. Um, I mean, j to the extent every other world is, uh, it, yes, but um, not really. Um, but yeah, this the thing about um, me doing these fights with a lot of people, it gives me a really good understanding of how like slow or fast um, invasions actually are. Um, like right now, I can tell you that people saying it's doable in five minutes generally 
that's not a good average. I think six minutes is probably a better average for me to use when doing the math on this event, um, which was like, uh, ideally I'd like it to be around seven or eight minutes along for this event, but um, yeah, whatever. Six minutes, six minutes is fine, I think, but yeah. Especially with a little bit of variation will make it a little bit more interesting. Um, Time-wise, but... Alright, uh, the event should be ending, I think, in around probably 15 seconds. People should be done with it. Um, look at that. Alright, back to, back to the invasion grind. Um, but yeah, next update will be Easter Part 2. More stuff will be added. Um, hopefully, hopefully more difficult stuff will be added. So there's actually, like, difficult stuff in the event. Like, right now the event is, like, really easy. Um, which is kind of good, I guess, in some aspects. But whatever. Um... I think your ping, ping has calmed down. Okay, that's... If it's fixing, it's probably not a ghost of error, which is good with me. Um, like, like the best the best thing is when people report stuff and, like, it's either a Roblox issue, um, th their issue, or whatever. So I'm just able to uh, not have to worry too much about it. But, yeah, th there are definitely some times when people report bugs and I incorrectly um, blame it on Roblox or whatnot. Um, but yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think this event, compared to, like, uh, previous events, we were getting stuff on a lot faster. Um, I think it helps that, you know, a lot of the information on, like, names, uh, main images, um, I can just grab really quickly. But yeah, no, it's definitely nice to, um, nice when this stuff gets added on the wiki sooner rather than later. Because I know, I know sometimes a lot of people are, hey, People ask, like, hey, what's this item in this crate or whatever for the event? Um, and, and people are like, hey, go look on the wiki. And the wiki just doesn't have that information yet. Um, so, yeah, it's nice to have it. Um, not, not strictly necessary. I mean, there, there are some things, like, don't really ever are, like, the highest priority to get onto the wiki. But, yeah. All right, we should go work on Fluffy now. You made a wiki edit yesterday? Actually, I think I saw that, Deadpool. Um, I believe... What was it? I believe you added... Um, st not strawberry. You added a pet of some sort, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, th there, there's, an, there's a log of all of the edits on the, that we get on the Discord, so... Um, yeah, it's it's not worth. It. I'm not stalking, not not stalking your edit history, Deadpool. It's just we get notifications, and I saw your name pop up, and I'm like, I haven't seen you edit ever. Um, but yeah, say, same thing with like, I don't know. Th this event's for whatever reason, so many more people have been editing wikis in like the last week. I think I've seen like five or six people edit the wiki that I haven't really ever seen before. Gargle. Oh yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, that's what you did. Yeah, never mind. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I, I definitely. I don't know. A lot, a lot more people have been editing the wiki than usual. Um, also, we have like 20 ghosts left. Uh, yeah, people are handling that. Uh, I can continue. Just mindlessly working on Fluffy. Oh, oh, the, um, other day, uh, so I don't know if you guys have know, know this, um, actually I do know that you guys know this because remnants, because puzzles, I complain about puzzles way too often, um, but I was doing a little bit of, um, work on, uh, like, just 
patching up for um, fix, fixing some of the bugs that we've had from uh, version 1.154. Um, so I've been updating. I was updating all the servers up to 1.54.1. 1. Um, and uh, while I was at it, I went ahead and looked at Remnant Zone for a little bit more, uh, specifically the puzzle for a bit, Remnant Zone. Um, one of the things that I've known for a while is that there's actually been a missing like puzzle hint for um, the lamp puzzle um, because for the longest time, um, like all the hints we had wouldn't actually give the exact solution without having to do some guesswork. Um, so there's 100% some um, something missing there. And so I went ahead and go went and looked um, just to see what was going on with that. Um, and I actually, f I actually figured out why um, for like since the remnant puzzles came out, zero percent of people have found a single dial. I've found a um, hint for that puzzle. Um, it wasn't that the hint didn't exist. It was actually the um, hint for the uh, puzzle was actually um, it was hidden in a spot that no one would find it, despite it not really being a people not really knowing to look for it. Um, so. I went, went ahead and added that to the wiki, I think, yesterday. Um, but for anyone wondering, it used to... Um, there's a well in the... Um, okay, you, most of you guys won't know this. Um, there's a well in the um, bridge area of um, Ghost Simulator. Um, it was actually... The hint was positioned on the bottom inside of the well. Where, and obviously, to see the puzzle thing, you'd actually have to use uh, Remnant Gum. So, to find that hint, people would have had to use Remnant Gum and then looked inside of a well. Um, yeah. And looking at it, it's like, not really a surprise that no one's found that uh, hint ever. Um, so, but yeah, I went ahead and swapped it around, so now it's actually on the top of the well instead of the bottom of the well. So, people should be able to find it a little bit easier now. Um, but yeah, it makes that puzzle make a lot more sense. I also went ahead and moved the uh, Golden Jukebox. Uh, to be a little bit more findable, even though that puzzle, really, if you find that golden jukebox, you're not going to be able to figure out the puzzle, um, unless you're, like, a musician. Um, but, yeah. Renz is complaining in Roblox chat. He's mad that I haven't made a page for a She's bug. Actually, um, Renz, if you want to go ahead and make- No, I'm kidding. Um, it's actually pretty easy to make pa pages for new pets. Um, I mean, you just need to go- Someone needs to go paste the, um, uh, auto format, um, thing at you and you're able to like make a page in like I think five seconds or so um <laughs> um but but yeah no uh actually you, you know it would be funny let's let's go do that right now um go similar wiki um let me swap my screens really quick um let me make sure um Yep, there we go. All right. A new page. Is it cheese bug or pug cheese? Pug cheese. Pug cheese. Oh. Look at that. Someone already made a page in five seconds. Yeah, that, that, okay. Okay. ID <laughs> Okay, um the actual ID, uh let me go find that really quick. Um and I'll probably also upload the image. Or actually no, I'll just go find the ID. You got the image. Look, look, guys, look how long that took. Any anyone can go ahead and do that. Um anyways, for anyone wondering how you create a page, is there any page that hasn't been created yet? No. Um Anyways, 
uh, l let me let me just show you guys how you create a page and uh, oh shoot, uh, concept designer. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, what what you go do is you go over here, you insert a template, um, you you, you look up page, um, or okay, no, you either look up pet page. Or you look up a uh, board page, and then you add that, and then you go into here and you select what you want. Uh, so you look at rarity. Uh, what rarity is it? You all know that. Um, you go select what version it was added. Um, you go select the date it was added. Uh, ID you don't need to worry about. Um, you select whether or not it's limited. Generally, you generally for this one you'd go ahead and uh, leave this one blank. This is only for like uh, code and event right now. We don't have a copy paste for uh, limited yet store. Um, is it tradable? Add a trail. Um, and yeah, and then you insert that. Um, once you, okay, let's go ahead and actually sh sh show everyone how you do this. Uh, pet page, um, let's say godly, um, okay, we're trolling right now. Let's go back to, um, this. A sister's out in flame burner. Okay, um. Cool. Uh, let's go. Let's go create a page for I guess Sister Zode. Um, yeah, you guys. You guys didn't didn't think you were going to get uh, learn how to make pages on the wiki today. Um, all right, we'll go do that so we're we're actually helping, um, and people don't complain about us being AFK. Um, Why does it have a blood image? Um, anyways. Uh, let's go do, um, flame burner. Alright, flame burner. Yeah, no, no one, no one gets paid for editing the wiki, uh, except for, no, I'm kidding. I don't get paid at all either. Um, but yeah, flame burner. Okay, this is how you guys go ahead and make pages. Template, insert template. Find the template, so this will be either board or pet page. Um, Rarity, this one's a legendary. It was added in version 1.153.0. Um, the date this was added, this was added two weeks ago on that. So you go ahead and open up calendar. That Guys, why do I... Okay, ignore that. Um, 15th, so that would be 3-15-2024. Four. Uh, trail, I believe, is orange. Uh, it doesn't matter. Someone can fix it later. Uh, yes, it is tradable. Um, limited store. Voila, ID. I think it's like 950 something or another. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like 957. Uh, we're going to put that in for now. That's actually bit too high it's probably like 922 um uh, ids is something i know uh generally you guys won't have that information so you can just kind of leave the id blank um i don't know if it has a concept art or limited so i'll not include those and then we insert that uh and then you guys go over to source editing and then you add a substitution here so you type this in this is very important um you, you should in hundred you always need to go ahead and include this otherwise it will not work correctly but yeah you can use the other you can use the uh, visual source for the rest of that uh, anyways once you have this added uh, you can go ahead and just click save and it'll go ahead and look correct um, there we go perfect page made uh, it actually doesn't add a few correct things down here so you might need to go add some stuff to the gallery but not none of that super important um, Anyways, um, yeah, that, that'll be it. Uh, we, yeah, okay. We, we deserve that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, ba ba back to, um, regular scheduled, uh, towers. Uh, no more, no more wiki, uh, hints. Um. Anyways, the actual ID for... For that is um 
flame burner, 908. Whatever. I believe I believe there should already be a main image uh, somewhere for flame burner. Um, I mean, no one else has access to it, but it should be in the uh, wiki's um. Yeah, my name's on the page. <laughs> yeah, no, f feel free to, uh, especially with like concepts, if you have a concept art that isn't labeled on the wiki um, that you made the concept to, um, anyone can go ahead and add that information on the wiki. It's really hard for um, all the wiki people to keep track of that information, uh, especially if it used, was in the old concept channel and they don't, we don't have pictures of it. Um, so you can go ahead and fill out your Fill out like you made it or whatever if you have the concept art for it still. Um, all that stuff. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard. So if you guys do make... Uh, if you are a concept artist or you have a concept in the game that doesn't have that information on the wiki, feel free to go ahead and add it. Um, the best way to go ahead and add it is to go look at a page with someone another page that has concept artist labeled on it and then copy that format um best you can um doesn't need to be perfect just as long as it looks somewhat decent uh it'll be fine uh people can edit it later um anyways hint not that many people use the wiki um like a bit of people do but it isn't important enough that everything's perfectly formatted um on every page especially when it comes down to like uncommons and commons from like events like no one looks at those pages ever um, but yeah. Alright, anyways, we're kind of, kind of waiting for this fight. Uh, page for Bubba Cart, please? Yeah, I can go do that. Uh, well, well, I'll try not to miss the tower for this one. I'm not going to explain you guys through it, but, um, do, do know it's actually pretty easy to go ahead and make pages. Um, it, it, I mean, it is a bit complicated, but, like, it is, it's actually pretty streamlined. Um, especially if you're making pages in mass, um, like, you know, wiki, wiki, uh, staff do um boba cart search um wait sorry uh let me make sure i've spelling correct yes i oh i okay add a new page i definitely did not spell cart with a k wait isn't cart supposed no it's fine being spelled either way i think Oh, it's so interesting. Sometimes there's words that can really only, like, it's a, that feels incorrect to spell it some way. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, board page. Um, godly. 1.154.0.05.03.22.2024. Um, I don't know what any of the concept or limited stuff. Um, store. Trail. What is the trail on this? I believe... I believe it's red. I don't 100% know. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to do some trolling right now to go figure it out. Um, we're, we're going to leave it as red. People will figure it out radar. It is tradable. Um, and the ID, um, actually have this ID off, like, pretty quickly, so, um, let me go find it. 
ID is 922. Insert. And then source editor, subs. All right, uh, now we should probably go help people uh, because we've done nothing for this current invasion. Are we just stuck in this cutscene? That's hilarious. No, we aren't. <laughs> nice. You can go buy it with death powers? Uh, why is there a heartbeat pulse? I have no idea. Um, I'm assuming that that's a network error. Um, <laughs> since I realize that I am missing all the network handlers uh, for a player's, um, on from a player's script. Um, for some reason, the server works completely fine, except for like performance mode with those. Um, but that, that might be also causing the issues with, um, Might, might be causing some of those other error issues or lag issues or whatnot. But yeah, I was missing an entire package. Uh, for some reason, just got completely left out of the out of a player script. Apparently, that didn't break anything. <laughs> Anyways, um, ho hopefully in like the next one point two, I have that fixed or point two. But um, that that's probably unlikely. Or no, it's probably not coming soon. Um, it will be fixed, but. I, I don't know if he'll fix too much other than um, the performance mode air shoes. Alright, there we go. I see. Okay, no. Ghost got taken out. A version 1.99, no, generally, generally you just go to version 1.1 thousand. Um, I, I don't, like, like, even for, like, Minecraft, like, it has this, that same version thing where it has that extra one at the beginning. Um, and I think that's just for, like, a just in case. Um, just in case at some point they do want to roll over to version 2 for some reason or not. Um. Generally, that would be something like Ghost Sim 2, where it is just a completely different game or whatever. Um, so that's generally what um, the first number is. So like that would be like in Minecraft, for instance, if they needed to scrap the entire thing, or if they did it, scrap the entire thing for a more optimized start. Um, we'll even reach version 1. 1, 1. 1.99. No, we won't reach that high of a version. We are getting 26 updates a year with current schedule. Um, so that would take 40 years to, or okay, 40 minus 150, um, I guess, 
or not minus 150, but minus however many we've already have, um, which is like four, five, six that we already have. Um, so at 36 years, or 34 years for us to actually get up to version 1.9999, uh, or 999. Um, so yeah, we aren't, we aren't getting there. I mean, yeah, um, yeah, I'm honestly, as for Ghost Sim, I will be probably working as a developer for, for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't plan on leaving. Um, I think realistically the only thing that would make me not be a developer anymore, um, is getting fired or blocks by just completely stopping, which I don't see either of those two happening. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do anything that gets me fired, um, <laughs> and, um, I don't think, I don't think Blox Bite's in too bad of shape, um, it's not in the best shape, I, it, I there's definitely some holes in some stuff, um, but yeah. Or getting much higher paying job. Um, the thing is, I can, um... I can definitely do block spite uh, development on the side of a full-time job. Um, I definitely have to scrap. Uh, it would definitely not be the funnest thing to do, but I can definitely do that. Um, and yeah, I am definitely at the same time looking for a... Uh, okay, maybe not right now. Um, but I will at some point be looking for an actual job in uh, programming or whatever um, alongside my work as a developer in block spite. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm planning on doing both. Um, there's really no reason why I can't just both work as blocks might and do a different job at the same time. Um, I have plenty of hours in my day for that. Would that mean update slow down? It, yeah, it might, it might mean a slightly slower, um, or less content in each update or something like that. Um, if I do get a job, um, thing is I don't plan on getting a job soon. Um, but it should, I should still be able to at least do something each update. <laughs> I, I would like to get a job soon. I should get a job soon. Uh, Blockspite does pay pretty well, uh, pretty well for what it is, um, being a Roblox game that isn't like, you know, super big. Um, obviously it's not a full-time job. Um, I, I can't get too much into the numbers. Um, I don't think on how much I actually get paid. Um, there's like, I, I, I guess I could technically share like one of the factors on how much I get paid. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to yet. Uh, it's, I, I'm, I'm, pr I'm fairly sure I can share at least one, uh, set of things. I can't share like both the, like people extrapolate too much information. Um, definitely share at least one part of it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, Deadbolt. I'm, I'm sure that uh, YouTube will support me, if anything. No. Um, uh, honestly, I don't need money, guys. I really... That, that's not the main reason why I do YouTube. That's not the main reason why I'm a developer for GoSim. It isn't... For the development, yes, it is actually good that I do get paid. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's not something that... Um, um, all right, let's go break these up so that it does make it a little bit easier to go ahead and deal with them. Okay, that's not good. I think here in the U.S. you can share how much. Yeah, yeah no, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I can. I'm fairly sure. Um, the thing I'm tentative about saying is because it reveals some financial information about Blockspite as general. If I share too much, um, and that I don't think I can share. I can't be like sharing how much Blockspite's making or uh, some of those stats uh, for sure. Um, and therefore, I can't share like all the information I have on how much I'm making um, that would allow people to extrapolate how much Blox Fight's making. Um, but I could definitely, sh I could definitely share like one of the numbers um, that doesn't allow too much extrapolation. 
Um, but yeah. The 3 FPS stream goes crazy? Yes, uh, 3 FPS is about, about my average when streaming. It's, I think Event World people have said is a little bit laggier than usual. Um, I, I, I think I'd agree with that, but like it's not noticeably for me worse than uh, other worlds. Um, Is it a livable wage? No, it's not a livable wage. Um, at least not here in Washington State. Um, w Washington State is a slightly higher or uh, living cost than uh, most other areas, so um, it's not something that I uh, not 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 like the best comparison. Um, also. Man, AFK? No, I'm joking. These people are just somewhere else. Um, I I've been that much AFK. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's definitely not livable for here in Washington. Um, but, you know, I don't I don't need it to be a livable wage. Um, uh, would Ghost Sim 2 be an actual possible thing? I highly doubt it, but like... Um, I don't see a reason why we'd want to make a Ghost Sim 2. Yeah, I think... Long term, yes, it is a possibility, but I think the current, um, I think everyone that currently does go sim development, um, Mackie, Mackie, Adam, myself, uh, Jonas, Dark included, would prefer go sim one to just be improved. Um, but yeah, I think long, long term, um, I don't think they'd rule it out because, uh, it is, it is a, very easy next step um, for the game, for any game, to just make a two of it. Um, but yeah. But my calculations and all my research, I just makes less than 135,000 a month. <laughs> Um, yeah, that is, yep, that is, that is accurate. I do make less than 135000 a month. Um. Th that's a, uh, that's a ridiculously high number. <laughs> But yeah, the reason I'm here is not for the money, honestly. I, I I think I say this way too often, but um I'm doing this because I Okay, I'm doing this one because I like Ghost Simulator, and two, because um it gives me pretty good actual programming experience um and resume stuff um for as a programmer. Um Yeah, you guys got that. Yeah, definitely, definitely sharing other people's financial information, though, is weird. <laughs> but, but yeah, I, I am... The amount I'm getting paid is, uh, it's definitely enough where I... Where I will say I am getting paid, um... But, yeah. De definitely, though, between, um... Counting as a programming, like, it gives me experience programming on Roblox, which is, like, really nice. Um, like, how games are actually programmed on Roblox, how to somewhat do optimize, how to somewhat uh, make a well-balanced, or not well-balanced, but uh, coding, somewhat good coding practices for the game. Um, and just how to work with code in general is always a nice plus, but yeah.
the lowest level wage of 28k um per year yeah um a lot a lot of a lot of di states have different money things it's it's kind of funny how different money works in um stuff especially when you start considering stuff like amazon um like amazon pretty much no matter where you are in the u.s um a dollar will buy you the same amount so it's kind of funny if you're living in like one of the higher earning uh, states uh, versus a lower earning state like just like how stuff is priced on amazon it's kind of weird um that it is so much of a difference just regionally based uh dollar wise how do i remove images on the wiki uh i don't think non-admins can go ahead and delete images um you can mark it for deletion i think by adding a template mark for deletion or whatever um or you can just tag a staff member and they'll go ahead and delete it but yeah I think I think there's a template that you can add to pages uh, called mark mark for deletion that will um that's pretty much the only way to go ahead and delete pages for or the only way to uh, tell people to delete pages um, if you aren't actually a staff member. Oh, yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, that is, um, slightly weird. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, one of the things I'm noticing about my emotion, like, wh what I, f what I feel and think is very obvious in my facial expressions, which I like, I, I think that's a good thing, but it, it definitely is, um, Maybe not always the best case, um, but yeah, it's new gen human. Yeah, yeah. Um, mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, fluffy. Um, let's twenty ghosts remain. We should be good. Oh, he got stuck in a tree. Oh wait, that's me. Whatever. Bye! Um, 78 ghosts. Yeah, there's an entire area with ghosts being ignored. Not here. Okay. Oh, the one really good thing about the auto shield blaster perk, um, like, people, people say it's good, but like, what really makes it really good is the fact that it's server side. Um, I don't know how many of you guys notice this or know about this, um, but with how, um, currently, I, I kind of wanted to fix this in the future, but how the client, um, with how the game's currently set up. Um, your cooldown for like shooting your um, photon blaster is actually like uh, client side. So if I'm clicking like this, um, my speed is actually limited to like my own frame rate. So if I'm laggy, it'll actually like be slower. I won't be able to shoot as fast. Um, especially if I'm getting like, I don't know, one frame per second, it'll be shooting super slowly. Um, but if you have the auto shield blaster, if you're able to use it, um, it will always stay at that consistent sh shot rate like it is right now. Um, even if you're like super laggy. Um, which is like 
really, really good quality of life feature and makes it so much better um, than, like, you would probably think. Um, even though it is kind of just a quality of life game uh, perk. Um, but yeah, um, like in the, there's that same problem also applies to overcharge. I don't know how many of you guys have noticed it with the overcharge. So I don't know how many of you guys are actually like super laggy. Um, but some of the, um, whenever you use an overcharge, the 60 second cooldown that it has, um, is actually a client side cooldown. So rather than taking like, um, always 60 seconds, um, it can take as much as like you know, forever. Um, especially if you like consider it with like a gum usage. If you use a gum and in and at the same time overcharge, um, the amount of time like your overcharge won't get up at the same time that your gum expire or your gum takes 60 seconds. Um, actually, I can show this right now. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, we don't have overcharge. Um, but yeah, um, and it's just one of the annoying things of client side timing versus uh, server side timing with that. So. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just some that currently exists like that. Um. Anyways, there we go. Um, how many more keys? I think we need one more. No, we actually have enough now. Um, not enough for a while. Uh, we have enough to go ahead and get a mythical pet. Um, at this point, we, I do have, I have both of the mythicals. Um, the thing is, uh, the, um, mythical board I had, I bought keys with it just to make sure keys were working right when the update came out um yeah we, we don't need to worry too much about that 100 not pay to win um but yeah i do now have both the mythicals um i believe it comes pre-locked i'm not i'm not 100 sure no it doesn't we'll go ahead and lock that though but yeah it is going to be a pretty easy event to grind so you don't even need to buy keys if you guys don't want to although Ah, there it is. Internet connection. Um. Oh, internet connection's fine for, um, yeah, we should just be able to rejoin really quick. Um. And I think we joined straight into the event world. Um. Maybe not. Yeah, no, okay, we've, we joined into the air. Uh, but we should be able to rejoin the same server. It looked like I had enough friends in there that I should just get instantly there. Um, but yeah, internet out. Oh, it's stream froze. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Um, uh, not, not the best, but whatever it happens. Also, how many keys do we have left? Uh, we have 11 keys. Um, hopefully stream's working still. Yeah, it looks like it should be fine. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and open a few of these just because I need to at some point and I don't feel like saving stuff. Um, that's the uncommon board, I think. Not trail. That's the common board. And another common board. Okay, I, I don't know why Chroma Falls is a common board. It... it like, anything rainbow looks like 5,000 times better than it really should. Except for Oblivion. Um, but yeah, anytime a board has rainbow on it, I always feel like it should be a higher rarity than it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but rainbows... Rainbows are very clean board aesthetic. But yeah, I'm back. I'm back, guys. I uncrashed. Um, actually, no, my Wi-Fi just gave out. I didn't actually crash, which is interesting. Um... Sorry, where is that board? What was it called? Um, Chroma Falls, there it is. But yeah, rainbows, you know, plus plus. Um, I would say let's go do something else really quick, but it, the actually no, the fight's gonna take at least one more minute. Uh, yeah, I did. It should be scroll up, like, right above, um... 
Right above where I posted the pictures of all the uh, decals. Alright. Um, yeah, we have about 40 more seconds. Uh, let's go buy all of the um, boards really quick. Actually, no, we can't even afford all the boards. Um, let's go buy... Actually, no, we can. We can barely afford all the boards. Lily Bell. Blossom Strider. And Rosate. And now we're broke again. <laughs> okay. Um, even though this event is definitely not balanced for keys, it is balanced for eggs. That is what I'm noticing. I am kind of out of eggs already. Um, after only buying one set, and I've grinded a whole mythical worth of keys. Um, so, um, at least half of this event is balanced. Um, alright. Anyways, uh, I guess while we're waiting to get back into one. Anyways. We'll go ahead and vote hard. Okay, guys. Also, I am... I am, um, unreasonably proud of these wobbling icons. They, like, they don't even, like, look that good. It's just, I am unreasonably proud of them. Like, <laughs> they wobble. Uh, they probably should wobble a little bit faster, but, you know, I, li I, li I like that detail of it. I spent, okay, I probably spent too long on making this, um, choose next difficulty screen and not enough time making it actually work correctly. Um. Didn't even notice lol. Oh. Come on. That no. <laughs> nah, it, it's just one of those small details I thought would work nice. Um I mean the fact that you didn't notice is probably fine too, since it means that it isn't bad looking. Because it keeps getting blocked by the inventory. Don't open your inventory while you're in the thing. No, I, I understand. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't design it considering uh, the normal inventory stuff. Um, and the reason why I didn't is because if you have like another inventory, if you opened another inventory, you wouldn't be able to vote anymore. Um, and that might just cause some weird issues. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't work the greatest, but whatever. Um, the, the, the way to do that would be to add another pop-up, like, on the bottom, like, open, reopen it to allow people to revote. but, um, on it, honestly, the way it works right now, um, is close enough to fine, I think. Like, it doesn't... Didn't need to be perfect. Um, that's not great. There we go. Um, well, cooling down my router decreased ping. I think it's currently at 360 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm fairly sure yes. Um, it would since you won't have to, it won't um, be worrying too much about overheating. Um, I also don't know if that's a good idea, cooling it down. Um, I don't know how exactly electronics work with, um, 
extreme heat or cold like that. Um, that that's something you're going to be better off asking Google. Um, Google is going to give you a much better answer on whether or not you can uh, safely do that than I can. <laughs> Whoa, I've been streaming for what, like, two hours now, almost? Not bad. Yeah, we're probably going to go for, like, a few more fights. I think I want to get, like, one of the, um, 30 key chests before I go ahead and end the stream. Um. Yes, 100%. There, there is someone that is dumb enough and uh, able to do that. Um, actually, oh, that, that reminds me of a story. I don't know how many of you guys have seen the story. I know it was kind of a popular story, and that's kind of the only reason I saw it. Um, okay, that was rude. Um, no, no hardcore mode uh, during this event? Um... I mean, there's hard mode, but yeah, there's no not going to be any hardcore. Um, oh, for me, for hard mode, um, I'll probably do be doing some hard mode maybe next week. Um, I wanted to do, since this is the first um, update uh, that this came out, I wanted to do some event grinding. Um, uh, since I think that would be, I thought that would be more interesting than um, anything else. Um, get people a little bit excited about the event. Um, get myself some event progression, um, but yeah. Oh, what was the story? Um, oh, yeah, um, so instead of just using CPUs, like, um, AI stuff, um, AI stuff is, like, super, um, like, super computer intensive, like, it takes a lot of energy and creates a lot of heat, um, so rather than just, like, you know, having these, uh, data centers and where with all these computers doing the AI stuff for, like, uh, global computing, like, um, or not global computing, like, internet-based uh, computing, uh, web, web, web computing, I think it's called, um, just sitting around or whatever, um, instead, um, they put them under, like, like, pools, um, so, like, um, public pools or whatever, um, so that they can use the CPUs, um, while those CPUs are running, getting hot or whatever, um, they'll go ahead and heat up the water for the pools, and then the pools will go, the water will go ahead and cool them down. Um, and so rather than the pools having to spend money on um, heating up their pools and uh, the companies having to spend money to cool down their PCs, uh, they both get a benefit from um, kind of being able to do each other's work. But it's kind of, it was kind of funny how much like AI confusion um, would go ahead and, uh, oh wow, I um, really made this weird. Um, <laughs> whatever, uh, no one will notice. Uh, surely no one will let us. Um, but yeah, how, um, how much heat that would actually generate so that it could actually warm up, like, an entire pool worth of water. Um. Okay, we should probably be using gum.
But yeah. Also, one of the things I'm glad, like, no one's really reporting, um, alright, let's do this real quick, guys, uh, screen, streams are gonna get slightly scuffed, uh, bear with it. Basically, if you're, uh, playing this game with, like, um, like, like, in a really small monitor, all this stuff on, up at the top actually kind of overlaps, uh, specifically the heart and stuff, um, and the amount of ghosts remaining and your corruption, um, so I'm kind of glad no one's reported that, so I don't actually have to worry about fixing that UI issue, um, because... Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I hate UI. Um, it's one of my least favorite things. Um, the journal UI, for instance, uh, I've pretty much been working on since like the first update I've done on Ghost Simulator, and it's still not uh, not perfect. Um, it's better, but there's still like literally every every update, someone's like, "Hey, there's there's more bugs with the journal," and it's like, "Really? I spent like five updates now working on it." So um, yeah. Can you just make it so you can drag the drone around? I don't. I might be able to. I just don't know um, best practices for that. Um, it's probably possible and it's probably pretty easy, but I don't know. Um... Awesome, let me find a YouTube tutorial. I'm fairly sure I can figure out how to do it. Um, what, one of the things I have, I, I know I said this in my Discord server. Um, I kind of want to add tab to auto open the journal and auto like auto open and close it. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I, I don't know. And so that, whoa, excuse me. That might be coming in an update at some point. And maybe, maybe when I do that, I'll see about adding that. Um, the thing is, like, moving UI around and allowing people to, like, change their hotkeys for stuff. Um, I, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, it's complicated and it's hard to do. Um, because basically what you need to do is program something that allows people to program something for how actions are supposed to be done. Um, I know when I made a website... Um, I was basically had to do that same thing on a much larger scale, um, where it's like, I'd like them have, being able to design like seven or eight, uh, different things for like, uh, that would show up on screen or whatever. Um, it was kind of a pain because you'd have to have something to sense when they change something that would go ahead and change another thing that it was, it was just kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I think it's custom keybinds will that ever be a thing uh most likely no it's a lot of work um i think i think just having hotkeys in the first place is a much better idea than allowing people to change um hotkeys for stuff but yeah at some point i do plan on adding some hotkeys uh for at least pc i don't know um actually I will know at some point uh, what I can do for cons console. Um, but yeah, I do plan on adding more hotkeys for PC um, for like opening inventory. Um, how have I. Oh, I guess I'm below. Um, for like opening inventories, opening journal, um, adding the, uh, gum to the, um, op unbox screen so that people can actually, like, use gum on, like, mobile, uh, while unboxing, stuff like that. Inventory should 100% should be F, should be F. Yeah, I was thinking about making it E, uh, I, I know you pointed out that it was for NPCs, um, I think that can, I think that can be, like, just disso disassociated when it's open, but it might be better just to have it for F or something like that. Um, 
or I don't know. Oh, there is this hotkey. Um, I, I, I know I've known this for a while. Uh, if you press M, um, you open the map. I, I don't know how many of you guys know that thing actually exists. I know I forget about it exists 95% of the time. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, there, there's a lot of stuff that, like, sounds useful, but isn't actually as useful, like, this map for whatever. Um, and, like, for instance, going into your inventory, um, yeah, going into your inventory is probably pretty easy, but I don't know if people would want, like, different uh, hotkeys for opening their items inventory, pets inventory, hoverboards inventory. Um, all that stuff just seems useless for me, uh, but maybe, maybe it'd be actually a feature used, um, Whereas, like, sometimes sometimes you add features and no one uses them, and that's kind of the worst thing as a developer because you're wait you're you're putting time into this thing and then no one uses it, um, and it's just kind of like okay, I could have spent that time, uh, I don't know, uh, fixing a bug, um, and people would have liked that better, but yeah. Yeah, I zoom in, O zoom out. Um, P doesn't actually I think actually, yeah, I don't know. P might not might not have a ha of have a um keybind. Oh, but yeah, um, I actually ordered uh, controllers um so I could actually go ahead and test um how the game is on controller um because uh I am one of the things I've noticed is I'm not getting like the feedback I need for um fixing a lot of the bugs with like controllers and consoles and stuff for Ghost Simulator. Um, so I should hopefully get those at some point and then be able to go ahead and see like what's issues with, uh, keybinds on those, um, on those and then be able to actually like test to make sure all that stuff works before it actually goes, um, into updates and stuff. So, uh, th th that will help a little bit. I'm fairly sure there was something in Go Simulator at some point, uh, that would allow a PC player to go ahead and at least on like studio or whatever, uh, test. Um, con control, console controls, um, but I don't know how to access that. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of things are fine. Yeah, I know. One of the things I'm surprised about is that, um, recently I changed how the settings menu works, um, so that instead of it being, um, a lot of a list of settings or whatever. Um, it actually has all of these expandable stuff. And apparently, uh, I don't know. I haven't heard any complaints about it actually being broken. Um, so I'm assuming this is actually working fine for console somehow. Um, which I find really surprising because I, um, I literally did nothing to make sure it was working for console. So it, the fact that it worked by default was kind of a miracle. <laughs> All those things are good, ain't broken. Cool. Yeah, the one um one repeated uh thing I'm getting right now, um I don't know if you can confirm this, is if you press like the D pad, like I I don't know I don't know exactly how controls work um on different consoles, but if you like press the D pad down, it'll go ahead and open like um or teleport you back to cell, which some people were complaining about. Um and some other D pad buttons would go ahead and uh put you, uh, open other menus or whatever, um, like, while you are in, like, other menus, and that was, people found somewhat confusing, um, I think that's, that's, that's the biggest complaint I've seen that I kind of want to fix, um, but yeah, I've been thinking about getting an Xbox controller, um, soon, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think you need it, I think for PC, I think Ghost Simulator is much, much better on a PC than it's going to be on a, any console. Um, but yeah. Do you think I could try to play Ghost Sim on a Steam Deck? I would recommend against that. Um, I don't know whether or not it'd work. I don't know exactly what the specifications of a Steam Deck are. 
Um, I don't even know if it has Roblox, for instance. Oh, shoot. Uh, there's a lot of ghost spawns. I need to handle them. Um, but yeah, uh, if it works on controller, it should work on Steam Deck, um, from what I know. Um, How you open journal on controller you can't close it the same way okay yeah that's that's one of those informations that is nice to know um no it's just you deadbull i think N not that you can hear me but <laughs> um yeah okay yeah I, I don't know if roblox works on the steam deck it seems like some that wouldn't um, yeah, there we go. This should bring us up to like 29 keys, which is kind of, um, annoying because we have to do one more, um, fight. Uh, actually, no, 28 keys. No, 29 keys. Three keys, seven keys, 29. Um, all right. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do, I think this is going to be our last one um, for today's stream. I'll probably end the stream and continue doing um, some more towers or whatever, or more invasion grinding. Um, but yeah. It'll, it will be the end of the stream. Um, It's actually been a lot longer of a stream than I was expecting. Um, I don't know. This event, I, I was expecting, like, in previous events, you get bored of the event after, like, an hour or so. Um, I'm not, like, bored of the event yet. Um, I, I think it's sli getting slightly boring, especially with the amount of people we have. But, um, like, you still have to think about, like, okay, uh, make sure there are no areas where we're missing ghosts or whatever. Um... Even if it's not difficult or whatever, but yeah. If you're continuing, you may as well keep streaming. Um, yeah, uh, except, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably actually, actually, you know, we'll, we'll continue streaming. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's definitely an interesting event. It's not something I get, I, I find to get bored of easily, which is nice um i don't know how all of you guys feel about it but um i definitely i definitely think that it's better than previous events in terms of like not getting boring uh yeah you're welcome stream causes lag though yeah no it's i, I do like doing these okay I do like doing these streams because it um, it increases people's interactivity with the event, um, but it also like it gets a lot of a lot of people to do my work for me instead of having to do the event completely solo. I can uh, make you all do it for me. Um, I definitely like that aspect of this event. Um, it does allow um, a lot a lot more teamwork requirement than um, previous events did. Like with other events, you'd be going and you'd go into like a private server pretty much for the entire event grinding, um, or at least I would. Rude. <laughs> But yeah, even if this like the difficulty on this evasion wasn't correct, um, I still definitely feel like the fun factor definitely got hit for the most part. Um, I, 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 
I didn't really test it out too much with people until the event dropped. And like the first time I joined the event, um, just to kind of play, see how it was. Um, like the first thing I noticed was that there's a lot of people, a lot of ghosts, whatever, just like having fun in like the first part. Um, and then when you get into the invasion, you're actually having to like think people are actually moving around a lot more, but yeah. No, I'm not doing a seven hour stream today. Um, <laughs> there's a reason I limit my streams um, to around three to three hours right now. Um, I don't really like people. I don't. I don't really like to do it when um, other people get home when I'm uh, streaming, just because it's it, it feels weird. I like to be available when other people are home. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing a seven-hour stream today. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I'm. I'm really glad that people are are able to find those rebirth. Uh, videos or other helpful um, guides I make for Ghost Sim, like it just makes it. it. It's nice that people are able to find them and actually use them, especially like with rebirth perks. I know, I know one of the big questions people do have with Ghost Sim, like we see it so much in the Discord. Um, people asking what's the best rebirth perk to pick, and like really, there isn't actually too many bad rebirth perks to pick. Um, yeah, someone's dealing with that. But the big the big thing is like being sure that you're picking one that you actually like. Um, so actually having a guide for that is more helpful um, than necessary. Like pretty much no matter what people pick will be fine. Um, there we go. We'll go ahead and kill that and things should be back to normal. Ow. It's a really six ghosts here. Oh, I, my, my vacuum gum ran out. That explains a lot. I did not promise a 24-hour stream. I have talked about a 24-hour stream as um, ideas, but I don't... I am not going to be doing a 24-hour stream uh, anytime soon on um, YouTube. It is not worth it. Um, actually, can I sell? Yes, I can sell to get out of here and then sell my 3,000 ectoplasm. Um, and then we can open one of these skis. Ew, Easter stack. Yay, we're the most common one. Um, no, anyways, um, doesn't matter. We'll need it. Actually, we don't need it, but we would we would need to get it eventually anyways, but we would have got it at some point. He <laughs> never promised. I never promised a 24-hour stream. Not worth it or just too lazy. Got to do it for the fun. Yeah, no. Um, the, the thing is, what would I do? Uh, I had ideas at one point about doing a 24-hour stream where I completed, like, the entire, um, game. Like, an entire rebirth completing every NPC, um, in one sitting on, like, my main account. Um, but, like, logically speaking, YouTube is not worth a 24-hour stream. Um, and there's really not, there's really not a good time for me to do a 24-hour stream. Um, obviously, I've, I think I've, I live with my parents, so there's always other people home. Um, so yeah, it's not generally, uh, I don't generally don't have the free time to be able to do stuff like that. Especially now that I'm a developer, it's a really, it'd be a really bad idea, um, just time-wise to, uh, do a 24-hour stream just because, like, um, I could do so much more productive stuff in 24 hours than, uh, a, uh, go some stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, uh, no, Mackie doesn't, the thing about those is, um, honestly, I don't think, uh, 
I don't think Mackie cares too much about when I do work. Um, as long as I'm getting the updates out on time, it'll be fine. Um, and honestly, that's more of something Jonas would be doing um, as the manager, uh, is making sure I do get stuff done. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's the thing I can, I, I can, I have off days. I don't need to work every single day of every single week or whatever. That is not expected of me. Um, the expectation is that I push out a update every two weeks, um, ish. Or if it's not going to be every two weeks, I let them know. Um, and, uh, yeah, but yeah, I forgot Jonas is actually a manager now. Yeah. Um, it is. It is, that is technically his job as manager is to make sure to manage the developers so Mackie doesn't have to. Um, he's, he's both the manager for Ghost Sim and also for Sentinel, so, um, but yeah, no, um, I mean, obviously I've known Jonas for a while since we're, since he's a community member and I'm a community member, um, so, um, it, it is unlikely that it, it's unlikely, I think, for anyone to complain if I spent 25 hours doing a live stream. I just, for my own sanity, um, I would prefer to be productive than do a 24-hour live stream. Um, that is one of the things I prefer more than anything else. Um, because a uh, 24-hour live stream is not the most productive thing in the world, um, as fun as it is. Wait, where did he, did he just come from like over the wall or something? That was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it's, there's a lot of flexibility. Like pretty much, I'm not going to say pretty much. Okay. But a lot of the jobs in tech are at least pretty flexible with stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Where's my cat? Um, my cat is up in my bed. She climbed up there at the start of the stream, and she hasn't came down yet, so, um, she's just chilling up there. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's right up there. Uh, there's no way for me to actually move the camera to show you guys. I'm sorry, uh, camera's hardwired. Um, not enough rope, um, wire, I guess. Um, this is not good. Who, who let all of these ghosts through? Uh, I think we're losing our first ward stone. No, we're not. I forgot. I forgot. This event is super, um... Okay, that one was me. <laughs> this event is super, um, easy. There, there's so much lenience in terms of, uh, ward stone health. Um, your own corruption. It is actually hard to lose. Um... Where would be a good stopping point for today's stream? 50 keys? Like, I don't know, we'll probably do like three or four more uh, invasions and then call it a day. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I know, I've, I know I've said this before. I'm really glad on how this event turned out. It's, it's definitely a lot better than, um, it could have been. <laughs> Never would be a good stopping point. Yeah. Um, we'll call it at three to four more invasions. Uh, that'll be about uh, 30 more minutes. Oh, shoot. No one's over on this side. Actually, this dude is, but he's AFK. Ghosts. That number is not going down fast enough.
cut it off. That would explain it. I was looking at that number and it was only going down like one every second or something. It was like, um, that does not look like all uh, three uh, different lanes are getting covered. And no, it was one lane getting covered by five people. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think complaining or saying anything bad about Last Christmas is kind of like... It is one of those things that literally nothing better could have been done. There, there was no better way to have handled last year's events. Um. Um. Okay. It, I, I would generally, I've only opened five crates and therefore I would probably, but I do actually have a spring showers, but no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't give away stuff on stream too often because like, if I give away one thing, it's going to end up turning into a giant mess of just a giveaway stream. Um, it isn't that hard if you're using Lucky Gum to go ahead and unbox one of those. Um, eggs are probably the hardest thing to actually get this event. Um, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot less eggs than I'm getting keys general ratios, um, which is definitely due to me nerfing the amount of eggs that you get dropped from Invasion Ghosts. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I I don't know the exact I I I don't remember anything like that. I I believe you can do giveaway streams. Um and, and literally, since my entire inventory is, like, legit not developer stuff, um, actually, that's not true. There are, like, two items in my inventory that are technically, um, I got a long time back, um, from, um, developer panel stuff, um, but, um, I can technically give, give it all away without any issues whatsoever, um. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember any rules against doing giveaway streams. Um, I haven't really done any in the past. I don't like it. I don't know. It, it feels weird to do it. Um, it's not it's not my favorite type of stream. I like to do more activity-based streams. Um, anyways, there's the influencer guidelines. Let me go check them out. Oop. Sorry, guys. I'm AFK. Ignore me. Please. Please. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll help. We'll help. Wait, why are you here? Uh, what are those items? Uh, ghosts? No, not Glismata. Um, actually, I think it is just Glismata. Um, is something I'm not trading, um, nor would I allow myself to trade. Um, I got it because it was a purple dragon pet, and people were like, oh yeah, this person likes purple dragons, so I got it. Um, that, that is, that is it. Um, other than that, the rest of my inventory is legit. Um, nothing's been dev set, um, in here. Yeah. All right. Old YouTuber items. I do not have old YouTuber items. I was actually added as an influencer after um, that code was expired. So all I have is a new set, which isn't actually tradable. Um, but yeah, any anything anything that I get from like codes from like the tester item or the YouTuber, even if they were tradable, I wouldn't trade them. Um, Discord account must be linked. Uh, must have block spike game content. Continue to upload. Regular 5k subs, 1k average views. Regular content on Blockspec Games content. Da, da, da. Uh, all freelancers to always represent themselves in a professional manner. Check. Um, drama will not be tolerated. I don't do drama. Um, this is around L.
Um. Please lead by example. Do not abuse your position. Scamming. Don't scam. Um. Leak or record anything from testing servers. Um. Schedule ghosts and videos. Okay, yeah. Prevent schedule. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Some people look up to you. Please do not take advantage. Shark scam. Respectful towards staff. Experience issues. Yeah, there isn't any, um... There isn't any rules against, uh... The, um... Giveaway stuff in the influencer guidelines, so... Um, I don't know if that was a rule. Um, I think that was just because of how, like cheap it is to do those sort of, uh, streams and stuff. Um. Where do you see these guidelines? They're pinned in the, uh, main blocks by announcements channel. One of, like, the five pins in that channel, so you can, should be, actually be able to find it. It's not like a pin in the, um, ghost symbol discussion, where there's 25 or 30 different pins. Um, all of varying levels of, uh, usefulness. Um, and so it's very easy to, like, look at it and just be like, ah, why am I even looking at this? But yeah. No, that, that's where those guidelines are found. Um. It literally, it, the main thing about that list is, like, how you'd become a, um, like, requirements for becoming an influencer. Um, but yeah, it does also have information on other stuff for, like, actual influencers. It's... All of it's pretty common sense, so don't need to worry too much about it. Yeah, in general, in general, if you're looking for documents, pins, um, pins and channels are under, uh, found. Like, very, okay, there's no one handling these goes, I need to go get them. Um... Very rarely, um, very rarely do people actually check pins, uh, let alone, um, find what they're looking for in them. It's just, p pins are not as, um, oh, um, more ghosts over here. And damage starts getting done. Okay, start backing that. But yeah, how did you get it? the influencer role? Ain't no way you got an average one, could you? Um, I was the most active ghost sim YouTuber at the time, um, and uh, made consistent content and actual good content at that time. Um, I was actually uploading videos at that time instead of uh, whatever I'm doing right now, which is not uploading videos. Um, Anyways, um, but yeah, no, th there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of flexibility, um, but that is assuming, you know, um, people, um, but yeah, as if there was any other actual, yeah, no, I'm literally the only go similar YouTuber at this point, um, Pre Pre Preston and Trevail are still, like, blocks white YouTubers, um, they are active in the blocks about community and, um, I would consider as actual deserving of the influencer rank. Um, uh, honestly, anyone with the influencer rank deserves the influencer rank. I should say that. Um, but like as people that are actually in the blocks about community, those are actual blocks about influencers. Um, like in the sense that they are part of the blocks about community. Um, but yeah, most, uh, most people that do, um, Go, go sims like i'm not going to say dead but that that's what i would mean um where not not many people play it anymore so it's not really worth anyone else making content on it um that's not good oh wait no that's fine this is not fine but yeah there we go
Yeah. Um. But anyways, uh, if the thing is like, if the popularity changes of it, I think it could pretty easily. Um, but especially now that the early game's actually somewhat fixed, it should be should be a little bit easier if it does ever get super popular for people to get back into it with difficulty changes. Um, ideally, Ghost World would also be simplified quite a bit, but not exactly necessary yet. Um, but yeah, one of the big things, like looking at metrics for um, Ghost Sim, um, I can't share too much specifics on metrics, obviously, um, but looking at the metrics, the issue with the game is... It, it's such a weird game and when you look at the metrics. Um, like, okay, I, how much can I share? Um, okay, I guess I can say its average playtime is, like, actually high. Like, on average, people are playing this game for longer than other games. Um, which is generally, is probably just because a lot of the people who do play this game... Um, it doesn't see a lot of new players in the game. It just sees a lot of the old players. Um, but as you can probably tell from that, a lot of... A lot of, uh, new players don't actually, like, join the game ever, really. Like, and that's just, that's just because people don't click on it. Um, oh, I just realized, guys... This top bar is supposed to, like, go down as you collect more ghosts. It's been completely busted this entire time. That's hilarious. Um, fortunately, no one actually cares because there is this ghost remaining here thing here, but, like, that's funny. What about Shelly, though? Yet, um, yeah, we don't talk about Shelly. We sweep Shelly under the rug. Um, the big thing I don't want to tackle Shelly really quick is because she actually has an- She probably has important dialogue to lore. Um, so I can't, like, with Jesse and Finsley, I could just delete dialogue. Like, there was nothing that was said in that dialogue that was, like, important to lore, important to people understanding the story of Ghost Sim. With Shelly, there is stuff she says that is important to the game, um, and I don't want to deal with that. So I just kind of ignore it. Um, but yeah, because I'd have to cut down the amount of quests, I, or I'd want to cut down the amount of quests, and I'd probably have to to make it easier. Um, like, probably down to something stupid, like 17, like half the amount of quests it currently has, um, with like, pretty easy, like, it should probably take around an hour and a half, I would say, for people to do it. It is a pretty useful perk, um, but right now it takes like, somewhere close to like, three hours, I think? Actually... For new players to do it at least actually probably longer than that but yeah ignore all your problems wait yes you know as a uh, developer a lot of a lot of me is just um at putting off all of the issues in the game um i made a fix later category for um ghosts and bugs um it has like 10 or so bugs in it um along with two other bugs that are not in that fix later category that i need to fix last update but um, is going to need to become in the next update, um, which actually might be 1 point or point 0.2, um, not actually up to 155, but uh, we'll see. Fix later is now at capacity. Oh, that would, uh, that would be bad. <laughs> okay, I probably should, uh, be focusing more, a little bit more on this because, uh, ghosts are about to overrun us. Like, I, I'm pretty sure there's another area that no one's handling right now, so, uh, I should definitely make sure this isn't an issue. It's an issue.
Alright, there we go. Alright, we'll probably do one more event and that'll be it. This- the dude's AFK? Um, just a second, let me, um... I'm assuming you're talking about this dude? Yeah, uh, whoever this is, you probably want to be AFK in the next one, otherwise, um... Uh, otherwise, uh, I am technically a developer, and people have said that, uh, people AFK in the event can get kicked, um, to at least the mods. I'm technically not a mod, um, but I have zero issues with kicking AFK people during the towers. Um, they actually said up to a one day temporary ban is allowed, so, um, I'm not going to temporary ban, but, uh, I will kick if people are AFK. So, uh, <laughs> or, or help, or hire me to rewrite dialogue. Oh, uh, I think, realistically speaking, I can probably rewrite dialogue and just be time consuming um exact especially since like but yeah no um there, there's also other uh dedicated uh dialogue people to go ahead and do that too um that we could hire um i i don't there's a there's a reason uh block Spike doesn't hire outside of their official things and that's because of like contract stuff you don't want to be using people's work that you don't have on contract and stuff like that so um can't can't really hire you i was going to get kicked well is is dude afk is he oh, we're gonna go find him if he's afk he's um no okay he's not afk Is he AFK? I mean, he's definitely active. Ish? Yeah. See, he's moving. <laughs> then don't call him out! <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, no, I, I don't think AFK is actually that big of a deal. Um, the thing you can do is actually report, uh, people who are AFK in the block spite. If you make a ticket, um, I don't send a video of it, uh, let them know the username. Um, they can actually deal with it. Um, as I said, um, one day temporary bans have been already given out for this. Um, um, yeah, don't, don't AFK guys during it. Um, people don't like it. Uh, you don't want to be not liked by people. Otherwise you end up, uh, getting, um, people on your bad side and you don't want people on your bad side especially when people on your bad side include uh people who actually play the game like moderators um yeah <laughs> yeah I, I mean obviously i i prefer not to have an um as a developer, I'd prefer not to have an anti-AFK measure. I think it'd make it annoying for people uh, who go AFK for legitimate reasons. Like, yeah, you know, going to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> there, there is there is legitimate reasons to go AFK. And if you're, like, constantly... It's more of an issue if you're constantly AFK and never helping. Um, like, that, that Sam person I've noticed has been helping. So, um, it's more or less if, like, someone's, like, AFK back-to-back -back that it really becomes an issue. Um... So, like, if, if someone's AFK for, like, one thing because uh, they had to go do something really quick. Um, like, I was editing the wiki. Um, obviously, I don't think that should be caught, but, like, you, you really need a way to discourage any, like, people abusing it at all. Um, but, yeah, um, I, I would prefer not to have it. It is, it is a bit of work to add. It will add more checks on the server or on the client or something that will cause some lag. Um, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, but that makes the event a lot less... I, I understand what you're saying, Deadbull. 
Um, I feel like that same thing could be applied to like, oh, voting to vote kick people um, who are AFK. Um, which one would be abusable? Um, but uh, two, um, and not nice, uh, but two, um, it would add a lot of like, how, where, where do you put that? Um, do you put that like during the round? So now people have to vote during the round. Um, how do you put a cap on that? It's a lot of complexity um, for a small feature that not much, um, that, that just sounds too abusable, to be honest. But yeah, I don't really want to add an anti-AFK feature. Um, if it is too big of a deal, I will. It is something that can be done. Um, it's just one of those things where I would prefer not to have extra code in the game. Um, just to uh, make sure that people aren't are playing legitimately. Especially since, like, if it is just a small deal, um, there are in-game, there are moderators that can go ahead and actually deal with the issue. Like, you know, kick people, but yeah. But yeah, there, there might be something where, like, the, you only get two keys if you do, like, I don't know, more than, like, your fair share of the work. Um, I think that that might be something that you're looking at, Deadbull. Um, there aren't going to be any changes in this update, but, uh, yeah. It is definitely a possibility. Anyways, I think that'll be it for this stream. Um, we have managed to go ahead and get 53 keys, uh, plus one of these 30, plus 250. Um, we start at 150, so, um, like, 100... 80, 180 keys or so we've gotten today. Um, so quite a bit of work. Um, at some point I do plan on doing a little bit more grinding. Why do I have one of these loot bags? Um, not a matter of those loot bags. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing more grinding. I do want to get uh, quite a bit of this stuff from this event. Uh, it is a pretty easy event to grind, so it shouldn't be too much an issue for me to um, get most of the stuff from it. Um, what will be interesting is when the new mythicals come out, how many people go ahead and grind for those. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this fun. If you guys want to continue without me, go ahead. Um, but this will be the end of today's stream. Um, I'll probably do more streams like this in the future. Um, probably not on these Monday. I think next week we're probably going to do a hard mode stream back to that. Um, but maybe off days, uh, rest of the week, I might go ahead and do that. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys uh, for coming out. Um, and I will hopefully, hopefully see you guys with the update videos sometime later today. Um, I've got that recorded. I just need to get a thumbnail for it to go ahead and publish that. Um, sorry that it wasn't out the day of the update, but I was kind of busy that day. Um, busy as in I was busy for the past week. It was taking a little bit of a break, uh, but you guys are fine with that. Anyways, uh, bye. Um, stay safe. See ya.